There are over 450,000 industrial maintenance workers in the U.S. Every day, they go to work with one goal in mind, equipment preservation. Using complex methods and cutting-edge technology, these unsung heroes directly impact quality, process performance, and facility uptime by maintaining overall equipment effectiveness. Historically speaking, there are two major types of maintenance. Corrective maintenance, fixing broken things, and preventative maintenance, keeping things from breaking. Corrective maintenance is expensive and time-consuming, precisely what we want to avoid. Whereas preventative maintenance allows us to take preemptive action by conducting repairs at a fixed interval, regardless of condition. Over time, new technology enabled a third category, condition-based maintenance. Put simply, condition-based maintenance helps to optimize preventive activity based on the actual condition of the asset. While maintenance practice was improving, it was soon discovered that increased reliability required more analysis and had design implications. So, attention shifted to the leader in the field of reliability, the United States military. The military defined reliability in Military Standard 271C, the probability that an item will perform its intended function satisfactorily for a specified interval under stated conditions. The adoption of military concepts gave rise to reliability-centered maintenance, or RCM. RCM is a specific process which is used to analyze the functions that must be preserved for reliability and to define methods to prevent these identified modes of failure. The RCM methodology provides a framework of seven minimum criteria required for compliance. Where RCM provides the framework of functional analysis, the role of condition-based maintenance is to act on that analysis. CBM provides the means to assess the health of assets with the intent of identifying a potential failure early enough to schedule repairs and limit the consequences. Used together, RCM and CBM work to ensure and preserve function. The key term is function. Early failure identification is the driver of most CBM technologies. The period between when a potential failure can be detected and the functional failure occurs is called the PF interval. The goal is to match the method to the mode and identify the failure potential as early as possible on the curve. Many industrial maintenance professionals employ some method of CBM as part of their overall maintenance strategy. However, without the foundational analysis such as that provided by RCM, these programs lack the means to justify themselves over time. If you need help starting a CBM program or defining objectives to drive results, contact ECO today at 1-800-993-3326 or visit us at ecoonline.com.